Good morning, my tubies, my tubies, my tubies. I couldn't sleep yet again tonight. It's uh, Sunday morning. I um, should be getting ready for church uh, soon. Well, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video, a couple of videos, because I know I've, I have been missing in action for a minute, but I uh, have been entertaining folks. So I've been kind of busy. But um, yeah, today I want to talk about there's this new guy who is so going to be so helpful to you. You know how I love my Derek Jackson? Well, this guy's name is <clears throat> Coach Rod, R-O-D. He has some excellent topics. And one of the topics he have that I want to discuss with you here this morning, this early morning, is don't let him have his cake and eat it too. He has some excellent points. Let's discuss this. You know how I like to do. He says his part and we share it. You know, we discuss it. Nothing like a good discussion. Um, nothing wrong with being a faithful and loyal woman to a man, but it's something wrong when you being a faithful and loyal woman to the wrong man. And I think that's what the problem with the women are, uh, are, are having. They being faithful and loyal to the wrong man. Did you hear what he said? Now, the reason I have been making videos with men like Derek Jackson, uh, now this new guy, Coach Rod, and Matthew Huzzy, along with Chaz Ellis, and uh, Robert Blake is because you'll find a lot of women who will say, well, you're not a man. I'm not listening to her because she's not a man. She don't know how men think. She don't know what men are all about. And also for men who listen to my channel, it's also to show you that all men are not dogs. Number one. Number two, there are a lot of men out here who have morals and decency and common sense. You know, that's why I like to let people hear it from a man's point of view. You have the man's aspect, and then you have the female. Okay. And nine times out of the ten, um, you would know when the man is right for you in the beginning of the relationship stage, of, you know, the talking when y'all first meet each other, if you will learn how to follow the signs. Most majority of time, I believe a woman could avoid getting cheated on. A woman could avoid getting left. And she just pay attention to the signs. And one of the things, one of the signs that you have to understand is when I'm in the beginning, if the man say to you, if now if you want a relationship, if you want a commitment, you know, you let it be known to him what you want. You want to start out as being friends, but later on you want to move into a relationship or you want marriage. But if he tell you that, he don't want a relationship. He don't want to get married. He just want to be friends. <clears throat> if you end up getting hurt, you can't get mad at him because at least he told you in the beginning what he wanted. That's a good point. Am I right? Yeah. Isn't it something that Oprah said? Or <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm over here looking at <laughs> chairs. <laughs> oh, they look so crazy on here. <laughs> anyway, um... When a, uh, when a person shows you who they are, believe who they are. And like he said, no, you can't get upset when the person made it very clear to you that they're really not interested in a commitment or a relationship. Then, uh, you know, see it for what it is. But if that's what you want, oh my God, these people are so crazy. Uh, if that's <laughs> what you want, then that's what you need to hold out for. Let's continue to listen to Coach Rod. It's up to you to choose whether you're going to stay and try to be with that person or you're going to leave them alone. My advice to you, when the man tell you in the beginning that he don't want a relationship and he don't want marriage, he's telling you he don't want the same thing you want. If you continue to try to date him and be in a relationship with him, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. He's, he's going to leave you for somebody else. Because he never was into it in the first place with you. He just wanted to have sex. Now that he left you to be with somebody else, you don't try to go chase him. You don't try to go get him back. You count your losses and you move on. Because if you wait on him to come back, he's going to keep straining you alone. If you try to fight for him, he's going to keep having you on that back burner. Because he's trying to have his cake and eat it too. Don't let a man have his cake and eat it too. 
Are you women listening? This is coming straight from the men, a man. What I like about Coach Rod, you'll notice if you look at uh, a lot of, uh, <clears throat> some of his other videos, he's very, he's from the country. He's definitely a country guy. In fact, he's he's making me feel like maybe I want to go get a country man. They cook, they, they're strong, uh, they're very home homebody people. Uh, so I've heard, you know, um, give me a nice big old country. I don't like big men though, but anyway, a country guy. But, um, and they like to cook and they like to stay home a lot. So not that I want to, no, actually I don't want a man who stays home a lot. I want him to have hobbies like fishing and going out to play billards and hanging out with the boys. You know, he have game night, like they have cards and all that. That's the way I was raised to see my uncle, my dad and, and, you know, things like that. They, they went out with the guys. Uh, to some extent, but, um, like he's saying, don't let these men get away with this, you know, let's listen up again. If you let him have his cake and eat it too, that's exactly what he's going to do. So when that happens, pray for him. Yeah. Pray for him because, and not only that, pray for the woman <laughs> that, 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 that he was, that he's with now because God ain't going to bless them. God don't like ugly. And that relationship with that woman that he left would never work. It's That's a good point. You know, God don't like ugly. And even if this partner or your whatever the hell narcissist have uh, decided that he wants to go elsewhere, it's not going to prosper, you know? And I have a perfect example of uh, one of my neighbors who we, we, we go to work together. And she was telling me about her husband and how she had walked in one day from work and he was in the bed in their bed that they share with another woman having sex just going at it okay so of course the she left she packed her stuff and she got up and she left and um <clears throat> no 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 she kicked him out and he went with the other woman that he was having sex with that didn't last a hot minute i think maybe that lasts what maybe two years two and a half years three years tops before that woman kicked him out, she took all of his stuff and placed it outside the door because he had became ill. He had got become gotten sick and she wasn't trying to play no nursemaid. Guess where he ended up having to come back to? And she took him back. Personally, me, I wouldn't have took him back, but she took him back. But she got to see his last days was suffering. It was like he was there with her for like two years and he was like, he had every health issue you could imagine where his health had declined so badly and she got to witness all of it. You know, look at the very woman that he had to come back to because no other women wanted him. All the other women out there were jerking him left and right, getting his money, playing him for everything they could get, using his car, taking his car, doing disappearing acts with it, you know, and where did he end up? Right back to the person who, he ripped her heart out. So it's true. God don't like ugly. And it may take time for these people to get it back. But it does. They do get it back. Trust and believe. Chances are he's going to come back to you when he realized the grass ain't green on the other side. When he realized he lost a good thing. When he realized he lost a faith in a loyal woman. He's going to come back to you. And when he come back to you, you close the door and tell him no. You had your chance. You already gave me your behind the kiss. There you go. You gave me your behind the kiss. You thought the grass was greener on the other side. And how sad is that? Nine times out of 10, people who think that the grass is greener on the other side, they get to the other side and guess what? It ain't even grass. It's astroturf. You know that fake looking grass? And even if it's the grass, check it out. You didn't look to see all the snakes that's in that grass. Snakes in the grass. Now it's time for me to give you mine to kiss. Straight up. <laughs> Straight have, up. Tell them to have a good life. You will not come back in my life because you have already shown me that you're not faithful. You have already shown me that you're not loyal. Chances are, if you let him back in your life, he's going to do the same thing he, he, gonna do the same thing he did before. When a man leave you for another woman, that's a sign right there that he's not faithful and he's not loyal. And like I said, Dolly, I'll tell it to you like I tell it to my son and my daughter constantly. Integrity and loyalty is more important than life. 
It's more important than life because without that, I no, there's no trust. It, to me, I, that's my view, of course. But like he said, anytime he leaves you for another woman, thinking that the grass was green on the other side, don't take him back. Freak that nonsense. The character has already proved what he's all about. He has no freaking integrity. Let's listen to Coach Rod. He, he's 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 got it. Yeah, he's speaking the truth, even though he's countrified, but he's totally telling the truth. And what you got to understand is sometimes you got to lose to gain. Because losing somebody that don't respect you, that don't appreciate you, it's not a loss, it's a gain. Because God got somebody out there better for you that's going to appreciate you and value you and respect you. Thank God for tuning in. Wasn't he right? You can't get nobody else to come in if you're stuck with this crazy person here. Or maybe even if you don't have somebody else that comes along. It's better than being staying in a, a relationship where you have to put up with abuse. You have to walk on eggshells. You know, it, it's better. And, and even if you have to stay single for a little while or for a while, if you will, you know, that's okay. Because this, this Coach Rod, he brought something really, really, uh, that was really, um, eye opener for me when he said you don't want a boy look at how a boy the word boy is spelled b-o-y that stands for burden on you you want a man m-a-n meet all needs that's what a man is he will meet all needs you don't need no one who's going to be a burden on you boy no like he said, every time he see a woman that's single and she's been single for a long time, he says that that is a very strong woman. That is a woman who really loves herself along with a man too. If he's sitting up here, have been in an abusive relationship with women who are narcissists because you have them out there too. That's a very strong man who loves himself. And when you look at the word single, S-I-N-G-L-E, S, that's for strong I is for independent, N is for noble, G is for great, L is for loyal, and E is for elegant, excellence. So you don't sit up here and put up with all of this narcissistic behavior, letting them uh, 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 abuse you and treat you poorly, um, trying to have their cake and eat it too. Nah, that's, that's not a good look. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you this morning. Sheila True Love, you always have a choice. Please choose wisely.